Listen, guys, this might be a little controversial. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments after you watch this video. But I believe there's a couple of stocks out there that are overbought. And this one index in particular is getting pretty overbought as well. So we're going to break down a lot in this video, go over some charts, some thoughts. So if you guys find value, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. That's all I ask. And with that being said, cheers. Let's dive right into the video. So you may have noticed that the stock market, especially the S&P 500, has been moving sideways for the past couple of months, right? It's moving sideways and it's been probably more than just a couple of months. It was trading between, you know, 415, 17 on the top side, right? And on the bottom, anywhere from, you know, 390 to about 395, 400. And now it's starting to break out right now in real time. Today, actually, when I'm making this video, spies at 420 or it hit 420, almost 421 earlier. So it is starting to break out of that range, but it's not fully breaking out. And on the flip side, though, Triple Q, which tracks the NASDAQ 100, you might, you might know, this is fully breaking out. And it's well ahead of, uh, it never really traded sideways, right? And it's well ahead of SPY in terms of return uh, returns year to date. And the chart just looks way better than SPY, let's be honest. I'm not saying SPY's chart looks awful, but this looks like clearly the bulls are in charge. Whereas SPY was more sideways, now it's starting to break back up. So in my opinion, guys, Triple Q right here, and mind you, year to date, it is up a whopping. Let me see here. It started off the year at 265, let's say. Now at 338, it hit today. It is up 27% year to date, guys. And we're not even halfway through the year. That is insane. So, in my opinion, this is overbought. It's way overbought. We just hit 338, which is great. We actually took out the highs, I believe, from August, which you guys that have been watching the channel, you know, we've been talking about those highs right around 335. We took out those highs. Again, those uh, were from the middle of August. And honestly, I didn't think this would happen this fast. But, you know, the markets, you know, they do crazy things sometimes, things you don't expect. And in this case, we, uh, you know, broke right through 325, boom, straight to 340. And now again, like I said a second ago, I believe we're overbought. So I think Triple Q is due for a move, maybe back towards the moving averages, anywhere from 320, 325 here on the four hour chart. You guys, uh, you can see that here. I wouldn't be surprised if that were to happen. Sure, maybe we run up a little bit more. Maybe it goes to 340, 345, 350 even. I don't know. I mean, we can't time the top and bottom perfectly. Uh, but either way, whether it goes up a little more, I think it's going to need to come down, you know, a good 10, 15 bucks, maybe not 15 bucks, but let's just say a couple percentage points, maybe two, 3%, 4%. That is very healthy, guys. And we can see all the other times we've seen huge runs when we've taken the highs out from before and now we're well above any recent highs here on Triple Q. We've been met with a pullback, whether it's two, 3%, four, five, 5 maybe sometimes less, maybe sometimes more. And that's what, we're in, uh, that, that's what we're in store for. And a lot of the reason why this is running up, guys, is because a lot of uh, there's a lot of hype around AI right Right now, artificial intelligence and a lot of these AI stocks, well, not, they're not solely AI stocks, but a lot of these big tech names that have a future in AI like Google, like, you know, NVIDIA and a bunch of other ones, they're running up like crazy and they're overbought, which of course is stretching the NASDAQ, which obviously is a tech heavy index. So if I pull up some of these charts, guys, you're going to be shocked. Maybe not. You probably, uh, you've seen them probably yourself, but Google guys, look at this chart. I mean, come on, this thing's that, and mind you, this is my biggest individual stock holding. So I love Google. I'm all for it, but this, you know, this stock chart is way overbought. Today, it's at 124 when I'm making this video. Earlier in the day today, it hit 126.50. That is insane. And just in the past couple of weeks, you guys can see in the end of April, not even a month ago, Google was at $100, $105. Now it's at 123. It is up around 18% pretty much in the last three weeks. That is just insane, guys. And again, going back to that four-hour chart, look how stretched Google stock is. If I clear the drawing set, you'll be able to see it even more. I mean, look at this. This is insane. Way extended above the moving averages. We haven't seen a pullback in about two weeks. So in my opinion, this will pull back, whether it's tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's the weekend. Uh, well, when you're watching this, it's Sunday, but I'm making this video on Friday. Either way, whether it's this upcoming week, the week after that, 
I don't know, but we are due, in my opinion, for a mini pullback on Google. I'm not saying it's going to go back to 80 or 90 bucks, although I wouldn't mind. I'd buy more shares at that point. But all I'm saying is, if it were to come down to 112, 115, 110 at worst, that would not be bad. That'd be healthy. That'd be a nice pullback. And that could be an entry point for traders, which I'm not telling you guys what to do, but I'm looking at it as a potential entry point for a trade as well. If it were to come down to that 105, more like 110 level, uh, you know, that, that, that'd that be a great spot in my opinion. So Google's overbought. It needs to cool off. Uh, NVIDIA, I mean, this, this one, guys, holy crap. I mean, this thing is very overbought. This thing was at what? And mind you guys, they report earnings, it looks like, this upcoming week, when? On the 24th, so what is that? This, uh, this Wednesday, they're reporting earnings. So NVIDIA, guys, Pretty overbought heading into the earnings, and it's currently down 1.5% when I'm making this video. Maybe it comes down even more, but these earnings are going to have to be pristine. This is this is the risk here, guys. They have to be pristine for uh, for these gains to hold, in my opinion. There's no way these gains are going to hold if earnings are not that great or guidance is subpar. We're going to see this thing tumble, but you never know. I mean, that's why I don't personally trade earnings anymore. I used to do that years ago. I don't do that now. Uh, and, and it could go either way. For all we know, they might blow earnings out and they might have insane guidance, which could send the stock to the mid 300s. I mean, that's possible. But overall right now, it's priced to perfection. Most likely it's at 320 bucks. That's a fresh high on the four hour chart. We're pretty extended above these moving averages heading into earnings. And the fact that earnings have to be great for this thing to sustain its gains, in my opinion, I'm personally avoiding it. I'm waiting for a pullback. I think it's overbought. Again, same with Google and a lot of other big tech names. They, they don't necessarily have to have extreme exposure to AI. Pretty much a lot of these big tech names, whether they have a ton of AI exposure or a little bit, they're pretty overbought. I mean, Amazon, look at this. This is at 116 bucks now. Very overbought. I mean, we're very extended above these moving averages and we're up around, you know, throughout the course of this month, we are up 16% in the stock. This needs to come down, in my opinion, maybe 110, 112, retest the uh, moving averages there. That'd be a spot that I'd think would be a healthy pullback, you know, a healthy spot to maybe add more. I'm not telling you guys what to do, though, but I'm just looking at the charts and, you know, breaking them down, right? We have Amazon overbought. Uh, Meta's probably there as well. Yeah, Meta's not as bad, but still, I'd say uh, pretty overbought. And we do have a little bit of a bearish divergence there. I'm not loving that here on Meta. So that might come down a little bit more. Microsoft, don't even get me started. That one's very overbought. You guys can see we just hit 320 and we're uh, we're at a big resistance right now. If I pull up the yearly chart or maybe the three-year chart, you guys will be able to see it. Yeah, back in March of 2022, we hit around 315, 320. Then we ended up getting destroyed. Now we just broke right through 295. We filled the entire gap to 320 like that, no problem. And now it's like, what are we going to do? Are we going to break 320 and then run straight to 350, which is the all-time high? Or are we going to see a little cool off here, maybe pull back, fill the gap back down, maybe towards 295, 300, maybe 305, right? Cool off a little bit, then make another move. What are we going to do? I think, honestly, we could be setting up for a little down move here. I think that'd be healthy. I mean, if this were to come down 300, 305, cool off a little bit, come back to that 180 SMA, I think that is what the bulls would need for, uh, for a sustainable trend. So overall, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, these are a couple of stocks that I believe are overbought. Maybe there's a lot of uh, there, there. I mean, I mean, there is a lot of AI hype. It's kind of reminding me of the metaverse hype. Uh, there is a couple stocks with the metaverse that were going crazy, and now it's a lot of the big tech names this time around with AI, which it makes sense. AI is definitely the future, but maybe there's a little bit too much excitement of excitement here in the short term. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. Hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe, and don't forget to get your free money up to 15 stocks for Moomoo. Once you open up an account using that link down below, you get one free share of stock right off the bat and once you fund your account with at least a hundred dollars you get four more stocks totaling five stocks and fund your account with at least a thousand dollars guys you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 free stocks so if you guys want some free money and you want to help out the channel use that move link down below get your 12 stocks from weeble as well and feel free to check out my patreon if you guys want to be a part of the discord chat see me build out the patreon portfolio my charts you want to see my ideas throughout the day all of that's on patreon and with that being said cheers I'll catch you guys later.